Welcome back to Dragon Quest 8, where we are cracking on with the post game. And before we do anything else, as tradition dictates, we must chat to Medea. And hopefully, we get a scene that somehow addresses the fact that we are the lost Prince of Trodane. So, I mean, we did get a scene off camera where the one where you stay at the inn in the kind of dream scene, but hopefully, we get the same one now. You know, this forest reminds me of something. Maybe not. Remember that time we snuck out of the castle? This is a kind of generic one, but I very much like this one. I begged and pleaded with you to take me to Fairbury. Finally, you gave in and smuggled me out of the castle in disguise. Remember? You thought of everything, even packed lunches. But then we got lost in the woods and it started to get dark. I remember being so scared. I was crying when suddenly Munchie jumped out of your pocket and took off like a shot. By the time we caught up with him, we'd somehow ended up back at the castle gates. Munchie really is a very special mouse. It's just lovely, that one. The fact that you get little little details about the hero and Medea's growing up together. So at this point in the game, I think they are 18. So, And I think the hero turned up at the castle when he was 10-ish. So that happened sometime when they were, you know, somewhere between 10 and 18, anywhere in that range. But it also addresses Munchie as well. Because we know at this point in the game that Munchie is actually the hero's grandfather, Chen Mui. So Munchie was all this time looking out for the hero. Never says anything or does anything, but always looking out. And yeah, just, I mean, any scene that adds to the relationship between the hero and Medea is just golden to me. Right, in this episode, there are a couple of things I want to do. And the first one is go to Argonia and speak to King Clavius. Here he is. I'm pretty sure there's no dialogue at this point about us being El Trio's son, but rather bad sign. Two rather large crises. Trodane is in ruins. No one seems to know about the whereabouts of King Trodan Princess Medea. Oh, we know. The second is that my own Chancellor has disappeared. No one knows where he is either. Times like this where I really wish Eltrio was still around. So that's the first time he's referred to his brother, our father. But yes, we need to... It's a little bit of a, a special bonus episode in Argonia. We need to go and find the Chancellor. And I have a suspicion I know where he is. Pretty sure this is his house right at the top. The fanciest looking one in Argonia. I mean, of the five houses that exist here. It's the fanciest looking one. And, oh dear. The music appears to have stopped. And this looks like a very dark and decrepit place. I mean, we can smash up some pots. This is the Chancellor's house, for sure. But it doesn't look like his home by any stretch of imagination. Bit of plain cheese. Mm, guys, do you know where he is? Speak to the party. We should have all six here. Predicted to defeat the Lord of the Grovians. Oh, yes. They're still referring to the uh, last episode. But it's a Chancellor of Argonia's house. Don't look like there's no one here. Yeah, Angus nearly back to his old ways. It's very quiet. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Indeed. I've seen a maid in this huge mansion. <laughs> Red and um, yeah, Angus having exactly the same thoughts of um, well, no one's home. So we could get a little bit thiefy. Uh, I can't remember how you get up this place. I'm pretty sure it is on the second level you need to get to. I'm going to end up outside going out here, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm lost already. I'm pretty sure there is... Let's go back in. There might be a back door, actually. I can't quite remember. There's definitely some sort of magic thing in here. Uh, I'm just totally lost now. Alright, where's the stairs? Oh, maybe this is... Yeah, okay. Um, oh, it's a lovely looking place, isn't it? <laughs> it just still looks bizarre in the 21st century, like looking around the living room and not seeing a big TV on the wall. Like, any living rooms where that's a thing, it's just like, respect. <laughs> You're doing life properly, but... Well, who's to say what proper life is? It's the diary of the mansion's owner, Lorenzo. That, I believe, is Jessica's former soon-to-be fiancé. It's painfully obvious that he just wants the convenient excuse to get out of his duties. Oh, is he from Argonia, is he? Okay, this must be before the kind of... It's sort of knocked some sense into that thick skull of his. It probably would have done. Okay, so I guess that was written sort of before the um, events of the main game, really. Um, right, is this... That's not the mirror we're looking for, is it? No. Actually, there's... It looks like there's light coming out of this window. Is that daylight, or is that... Oh, we're going to end up on the balcony here, aren't we? <laughs> I don't want to get lost in this <laughs> relatively tiny mansion. Oh, it'd be amazing to have a balcony as well. <laughs> I've done so much around my flat, but there's just, like, so much... 
I want to still do. I don't think it's possible for me to build a balcony by myself. <laughs> that is the sort of thing I would think up, and then that, <laughs> that's probably how I'm going to die. I'll probably just be waking up thinking, of course I can build a balcony. <laughs> It'll just be a big pile of rubble on the floor. Where is the mirror in this place? I'm totally lost. I could have sworn it was just up here and there's like a shining thing. What do I have to come back at night? Oh, that might be it actually. I'm going to come back at night and see if it's there. Okay, here we go. This is now glowing, I think. Yes, right. I'm pretty sure that is a photo op as well. There we go, challenge 58. I should say I've done a lot of the, um, I've caught up on a lot of the photos off camera and some of them were painful. All of those kill 30 monsters and then the thing will spawn ones were very painful indeed, but they are very cool monsters. If we have a look at them here, yeah. all of these guys. They've all got pretty cool and unique designs. But they're just an utter pain to get through. Oh, in that one you had to kill 30 Pandora's boxes, which you can only find in the, like, Dragovian, like, right at the top of the Dragovian place, so... Yeah, very long, very painful, but we got through it. Still missing a few, and... Oh dear! We've ended up in some sort of troll labyrinth. Ooh! Right, obviously want to get all the treasures out of this place, and I'm sure... I'm sure some of these trolls we must have killed before, but just for the sake of it, I'm sure there must be some new ones as well. So I think we are just going to kill... Oh God, there's a lot of... <laughs> there's a lot of things happening here. Uh, right. Yeah, we unlocked Kazap as well, just randomly, but it only does groups, which is very annoying. It doesn't do everything like Zap does. So it's, it's sort of an upgrade, but in the other direction. <laughs> A very bad upgrade. Right, let's just try and smash through all these guys. I'm going to want the King Kyrus like that, really. So it's trolls and cyclops in this place. Oh, lovely. The spells have done their work for me. Oh, yeah, I did a lot of grinding level-wise as well. I've gone up to level 50-odd for pretty much everyone now. And that is in prep for doing the dragons in this episode. I don't think we're going to get through many of them at this level, to be honest. Or maybe we were. I'm not really sure what level you need to be to do all of them. I'll have a good go. I'm sure we can get down maybe two, maybe three. I can't really remember. I don't think we're going to get through the, the uh, ultimate dragon or anything. This is all Dragovian trials. But as long as we get through the first two, because then you get that cool Dragovian outfit. Which is just... I mean, the hero gets a lot of decent outfits in this game. We've not bothered to unlock any of them yet. can't really remember which ones he gets. There's definitely a metal slime outfit, which is quite cool. The Jagovian one, I think, is the best, in my opinion, anyway. Um, right, how do I get around... Alright, there's a chest down that way, then. How do I get that other one? Can we make it through here? I've lost track of what trolls we've killed already. <laughs> I mean, we've got the green one, I think. Alright, get this one. Cheeky mini medal, we'll take that. I still haven't bothered Googling how to farm mini medals yet, either. But that's definitely something we will do. Because I've never gone through the list of mini-medals in this game. There's a book upstairs in the mini-medal castle. That guy's running away. That's basically just... It gives you all the items that you unlock along the way. And there are some cool looking ones there. I don't actually know what they are. Right, well, we found the bottom. <laughs> we take a cheeky shot. That's definitely going to be a photo, isn't it? Take a cheeky shot of the trolls. And it looks like some sort of kitchen. Help me. I'm the Chancellor. Where are you? Oh, there he is, right. I thought he was coming from the trolls or something. P5, fo yum, something, something. How about you? Can we kill you? Sounds like the guy in Dragon Quest XI, the slurpy guy in um, Octagonia. Or is you here to get in the way? Yes, I am. Um... Come on then. Let's scrap. Oh, hang on. I've... <laughs> I didn't really bother looking at the dialogue. I think I've accidentally been nice to him. Oh dear. As soon as I'll start skipping. Right, come on then. Let's have a scrap. Let's read this properly. I was saying you want to eat my dinner. Yes. No. <laughs> I was nice to you before. But now. You is bad. You is not having it. Oh, that sounds terrible. Right, come on. <laughs> Let's just get this stupid fight on the way. Right. I can't imagine this is going to be particularly difficult. Boss trolls. Right. 
No, we're just going with the Falcon Slash, Toffee a small. Timber attention, and why not? Piss swoosh, getting both. Well, I've let Jess go first. I need to give her. That's because I think. How easy is it to make meteorite bases in this game? Because ideally, I'd want them to go to Jess and Angelo, I think. What other accessories are good, though? Is there a Catholican ring in this game? There must be, surely. I'm not sure I've ever had it if there is, but. There must be some sort of, like, status ailment resisting ring. I don't know if that's the Catholican or if it's something else. Got a lot of HP, these trolls. Surely he's done a thousand already. Oh, there we go. The Angus delivers the goods. Right, now Falcon, Tafia Small, and give Angelo Falcon as well. Oh, I'm on 20. Just on 50. I'm still yet to use Magic Burst. <laughs> I think I unlocked it last... Oh dear. Last episode or a couple of episodes ago, but... The timing hasn't been right just yet. Really, you want to like wait until Jess gets 100 tension, but you really kind of need a boss that doesn't disrupt for you to get that. Oh, Maybe a troll. this will be just a dream. Maybe. Oh dear, he's conked out. Oh, he's vanished. <laughs> well, there's the Chancellor. Thank you, thank you. If you hadn't come along, I'd have been in a troll's belly by now. What a waste to end up a troll's dinner after all my hard work to become Chancellor of Argonia. Yeah, all right. I must repay you for this. What could I give you? Um, money? Of course. Here, I'd like you to have these. Is it money? Two seasons drink and three seasons love. Actually, that's pretty decent, to be Things honest. Like that kept me alive in the shell. Well, I should be getting back. Farewell. Farewell to you, my friend. Right, let's grab these last few treasure chests and then we'll head back to King Clavius. There we go. There's the Chancellor, happily reunited. Got this problem of Trodan. Yeah, that is a problem, to be honest. Sounds like you're the ones who saved Chancellor. We were indeed. Yeah, second time we were helped. Fred, I really dislike being in people's debt. Hmm. Be sure to redress the balance when an opportunity presents itself. Very interesting. I mean, I'm not going to spoil anything yet. The one thing I will say is, I'm going to be very annoying in the way I play this game. I'm not going to do the proper ending for ages yet. We're going to do basically everything in the post-game before we get onto that. That'll be the final episode of the series, because it needs the build-up. It needs the hype. It just does. And for this episode, though, oh, there's one thing I want to do before we go off and fight the dragons, just for the bounce. Here we are, and if you've played the game before, you know where this is. This is just for the um, photo opportunity, but I've been told it's funny if you get Jess to do this. So we're going to go in as Jess and see what happens. So this is an unfortunate trend that continues in the um, Dragon Quest series. This is the Puff Puff Club. So there we go, we'll get a picture, and then... Okay, must be further in. We'll talk to the man. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. No need to say a word, no way you're here. Get yourself nice and refreshed. Oh dear. Right, well I imagine... Is that the photo op? Yep, there we go, we got it. And we'll play for it just for the fun of it, as Jess. I imagine you get unique interaction with every character, but... Okay, they have... Say yes, and then <laughs> I imagine that I think Mademoiselle is a female pronoun. I think so. I, don't know. I think that's a blindfold. Yep. Oh dear. <laughs> Can I really do this on camera? Puff, 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 puff. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure this is YouTube friendly, to be honest. Oh god. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then the joke is, it's not really what you think it is. Yep. Oh dear. <laughs> that wasn't as funny as... <laughs> that was just like anything else. I don't know what... The... Yeah, I... I don't know. <laughs> right, let's go and do some proper gaming, shall we? Right, we are back in the Jagovian Sanctuary, and I think we might get a cheeky cutscene just here as we go in with Chen Wei. So, you have decided to take the Jagovian Trials. We have indeed. I hope you'll allow me to accompany you as Munchie again. Actually, it isn't a request. We've come together this far. I have every intention of us staying together until the end. 
You got it, man. Let us go then to the heavenly dais where the Lord of the Dragovians awaits. Let's do it. Can't do it without the grandfather, the mouse. That reminds me, there is another scene in um, February that we need to go and see at some point, and I believe it's on the hill overlooking the town. But we'll do that in maybe this episode, if we get some time. But while we're here, I want to go through the best diary and kill everything we've missed along the way. And that should, in theory, bring us up to more or less complete defeated monster list, minus all the like, boss enemies. So let's crack on with that. Here we are, and I believe this is a photo op that we couldn't get last time. It is indeed. Right, I've still not bothered to do the um, second Timbal of Tension. We've got the second Skull Helm, but I've not bothered to make it yet. Welcome back, brave warriors. Hello. So, now you know the whole truth. Yes. Our misjudgment and close-mindedness has caused much strife. For this, I apologize. No worries, bro. We've got a good game out of it. I suppose your presence here means you wish to undertake the Dragovian trial. It does indeed. This pleases me. It has been many centuries since a challenger last requested a trial of me. Mm -hmm. Very well. Brave warriors, defeat me and prove your true quality. Alright, here we go. I've just recalled I've probably not bothered to resurrect my monster team either. And this is... Okay, Lord of Dragovians, right. It's You get this guy in his first form first. No, I haven't. <laughs> oh dear. That probably means he's about to take out whoever I've got left. Dumb King and Talos. Oh, okay, that's... This, I can't remember what that does. I think it's probably a good idea sending out the monster team first, then. If they dodge it. Right, I mean, these guys aren't going to do much. I have a feeling, or a memory, that in a past playthrough, my monster team was able to take this guy out completely. So obviously it's just his first form. It's going to turn into some sort of dragon. What was that down his sleeve? I've never noticed that before, but he's literally got a dragon's arm, hasn't he? Underneath that sleeve. Yeah, yes, I just saw it. It's like a purple... There it is. How have I never seen that before? Right, well, they didn't get long. Right, I must remember to go to Mori at some point and resurrect that team. Right, normal sensible strategies, I think. Timber Ascension and... Mangelo Psych Up as well, or Defend? No, I think we just try and do this quick. We have Angelo Psych Up as well, and then see if he can get an attack in. Right, well, he's psyching up himself. Oh dear. Ouch. Right, hopefully Angelo goes first. Hopefully. We can have the boys on the attack this turn. So we'll do... Uh, I wanted to use Oomph on Yagus, right? No, it doesn't... Uh. Alright, Tim with attention, we use four here. We won't bother Oomphing. We'll do that later. I, mean, I don't think he's got that much health anyway, to be honest. Uh, bad. Very bad. Ah, uh, God's sake. <laughs> the most annoying spell in all of Dragon Quest. Every game. I'm kind of hoping they'll just ban it eventually, but I, I don't think they will. They should... I don't know. I was going to say, they should make it usable for, like, party members as well, but then again... It is in some games and it just it doesn't do much. It's a lot less annoying for you to use it on an enemy than it is for them to use it against you. Right, well he's on 20. Okay, that does quite a bit really. Right, Yangus is oomphed symbol. They both psyched up, didn't they? Can't really remember what I did. No, okay. <laughs> My bad then. I was meant to psych him up. Right, I'm pretty sure this guy's only got about 2k health. I will psych up again though. Some of the tension, and we'll do a multi heal, I think. I'll do it. Bad, bad. Now, oh, for God's sake, man. Right, it could have been worse, to be honest. At least the timber went after. Yeah, because it's on five, so that's a full multi heal. Angelo, even. So that's a full multi heal. The boys are sucking up as well, I think. Yep. Right, we should, I think. I don't think he's got that much health. I think we should have him here. If we do 50 tension attacks. And he doesn't bloody disrupt again. Um. Angelo's on zero, isn't he? Uh, oh no, we got disrupted, so we'll oomph Yangus. That works. As long as he doesn't disrupt. Please. Uh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Right, it should be finished here then. There's 900. Oh, you could have waited for the oomph, man. Okay, there we go. 
Right, we got the first form out of the way. And now is going to be the first dragon, I believe. I have no idea which one it is. They've all got unique stuff they do. Come on then. Let's see what it is. And it is... The Vermilion Dragon. Okay. No memory of this one whatsoever. There's only one I remember, which is the Darksteel Dragon, which is a little bit different. That one's basically got, like, liquid metal slime attributes. Very high defense. And only crits work. I'm sure some of them... Some of them have got, like, very high... Okay, right. There's his unique. He's got Giga Flash. That's annoying. <laughs> I'm sure some of them are, like, completely resistant to normal attacks as well, and then are susceptible to magic. And he's got a crit. Of course he does. Okay, his normal attack isn't too bad. It's Giga Flash that is going to be the annoyance here. He uses every other turn. Oh, that's a big problem. That suggests that normal attacks aren't going to work here. It's... I wonder if Giga Slash is immune to it. I can't remember. Right, we'll psych up and then try and work it out from there. Because it's going to be... Right, Angela needs to full heal himself. It's just going to be having to resort to criticals if... Okay, thank God that was normal. Right, and he's got flames, which... Okay, they're not too bad at all. Alright, yeah, Ange Angelo to multi-heal next turn because he's on 5 ascension, so that should be a full heal. Right, we're not Giga Flashed yet, so I'm hoping <laughs> we get away with this one. And we can get this attack in before he does it. And that's going to have to be a multi-heal. Hopefully. Well, I've gone first anyway. Why is it? I need to get Jess a meteorite brace on just to guarantee that she goes first. Because the boys are jumping the gun at this stage. Oh, we didn't get a full heal on Yangus. That's annoying. Right, Yangus is on 50, which is good, but he needs to survive. Okay. So that's 50. Lovely. A cheeky 900 damage in. I suspect he's got a lot of health, though. Right, we'll go for another round of Psych in that. I'm going to do a multi-heal, but there's going to have to be an omni-heal. He's on 20 now, isn't he? That should be right, actually. I'll do it. Yep, he was going to die regardless. Okay, so this should be a full heal, except for Yangus, obviously. Okay, not too bad. Alright, so this has got to be... Attack with the hero, Timber with Jess, and it's got to be Kazin Yangus with Angela. It kind of... You kind of establish a decent rhythm after a while of playing this game. It kind of... The turns write themselves. Alright, Jess and the hero are both on 50. If Jess goes to 100, I reckon just fire the magic burst. Because she's not, she doesn't use MP otherwise, does she? Not for anything. There's the 50 in. Right. Um, mm. Do we... Angelo's probably on a bit of tension now. But everyone's like... No, I think it's it's normal. Again, I'm not going to bother on the healing just yet. It's going to be Timber again. And then multi-heal. And I th I'm going to hope that does everything. It's alright. Jess isn't quite on full. He's waiting. There's the symbol. Jess still 1 and 50. No, oh, there's the screen. Alright, that's mine lost. Okay, could have been worse. Okay, not too bad. Right, I'm still down on my. Yep. I think Angus Yangus is ready to fire though, isn't he? Ah, oh, so we could oomph Yangus here with Angelo. There's no point doing it with Jess because she needs to use the timbrel. Do we fire the risk? And risk Angelo? No, we can't risk both Angelo and Jess in one turn though. It's got to be more heal. We <laughs> can't play that risk. I'll play it soon though. Oh, they're both sitting on 50. Not going to 100. I mean, at least we get big damage in. Yeah, okay. Angelo would have died if we played that risk, so... Okay, not too... Bad. And I think we fire the Omni Hill here and play it semi risky. And then oomph with Angelo. I think that's better because I don't think he's got Disruptive Wave. I think he's got the Roar, but I don't think he's got the Wave. Right, there we go. Jess goes to 100. Right, I'm going to fire the Magic Burst. If she survives and doesn't get disrupted. Yeah, there's the Omni Hill. Just that risk paid off then. Yangus is a 20. Okay, fine. Uh, not Jess, not Jess. Oh, for God's sake, man. 
Oh, I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> right, that's gotta be a psych up, and I think that just has to be a full heal on the hero, I don't know. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh, and there's the first Giga Flash, and everyone's dazzled. Right, okay. Was Yagas attacking? I think he was psyching up, wasn't he? Have I still got the full heal? I do, lovely. Well, that's timed quite well then. Right, now normal attacks aren't going to work because we're all dazzled. I don't know what the percentage is, but it feels lower than 50. Right, I think the hero has to psych up. Yankus is on 50, isn't he? So he should attack here, but there's a decent chance it will just miss completely. <laughs> Still haven't used Golden Oldies yet. Um, I mean, the attack... Executioner is immune to dazzling, but there's only 50% chance it will land anyway. I think we just have to risk it, you know? And use Typhia Small, even though there's like a 50% chance it will do zero. Jess has to use Symbol of Tension, I think. Oh, I had that Magic Burst lined up perfectly. That's so annoying. What can Angelo do here? It's either Psych Up or Defend. I think we go for the Psych Up. Five, a hundred. Oh, Yang is going to miss though. It's going to be so annoying. He's going to waste all that tension and do zero. And he's oomphed as well. If that lands, that'd be like 2,500. Which would be mega, but... Oh my god, it actually worked. <laughs> Did not expect that. Well, fair play, Yangus. He shut me up good and proper. <laughs> right. Well done. You fought with the valor I would expect of the warriors who saved the Dragovian race. Bro, it's all Yangus. Don't thank me. You deserve a reward for your efforts. Choose something, and it shall be yours. Okay, right, we've got an unparalleled practice gun. That is the final sort of boss fueled dungeon. Legendary Team Monster, which I believe is a Metal King slime, but I don't think it's actually any good. TV Dragovian Sword, again, useless compared to the Falcon Blade, so no. Some Dragovian Armor, Dragovian Shield, Dragovian Helm. I think it has to be the Dragovian Armor. It that just does. That's the desire. first thing. Are you certain? Yes, I am. Very well. You shall have it. Thank you. Oop, a bit of magic. And we got the suit of Dragovian armor. So unfortunately we can't get the full outfit yet. We're going to have to beat the next you dragon before we do that. that. And etc, etc, teleport us out. When and I think we go back. It's quite annoying that you have to do the dungeon to this place every time you want to fight the guy. But that's just how it is. <laughs> or I think we can get the next guy at this level. But before we do, I want to go back and make the second Timbal attention and give it to Angelo. Just to stand us in better stead for the next fight. So off we go to Pickham, I think, because we need to farm the Magic Beast Hide. Right, we've got the Magic Beast Hide, so I think that's everything. we got the Sun Crown, which is the Skull Helm and Saint's Ashes. And the only other bit is Tough Guy Tattoo, which you can buy in Argonia. So with that, a second Timbal of Tension can be made. I'm pretty sure there are three in total, but I don't think you can get the third one until like halfway through that final monster uh, boss dungeon. So we've got two for now, and I think that has to go to Angelo. I think... Is that the best way to do it, or do I give it to... Given that the boys are psyching up half the time anyway. <laughs> you sort of want Angelo to have it first turn, and then the boys to have it every other turn, which... I don't know if that really works. I think it's got to go to Yangus, doesn't it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Is that going to be the best bet? Because then Yangus is the bigger attacker. So does it make more sense for the hero to be using it? You know what? I think I'm going to give it to the hero for now. And then we'll fight the one boss and then see how that goes. Because I'm not entirely convinced. Ideally, I'd give both to Jess and have her use it twice per turn. But unfortunately, that's not a thing. So we'll give this second dragon a go. See how it goes. Dragon number two. And I've just remembered again, I haven't been to Mori's place. So I haven't got my monster team back Welcome. at all. Right. Yes, we wish to undertake to trial. Get full HP and MP, and it's going to be the Lord of Dragovians again in his human form. I might as well send the monster team. I'm basically just sending him out to die, and then to remind me that I actually need to go back to Mori's place and revive them. It's a shame that's not kind of like one of his abilities that he can just like kazing a monster. Or maybe it is. I've not leveled up his skill tree in um, his like unique thing yet, so I've no no idea. Go on, kill Talos, man. He's been waiting to die for <laughs> so long now. It does get three turns. Not quite. Alright, so he's on five tension as we come in. None of the characters get Disruptive Wave, do they? I'm just thinking you can get it in Dragon Quest IX, and then in Dragon Quest XI it's a pep-up ability. 
don't think they can. Right, I've got Timber Attention now, haven't I? So I'm going to use that. Yangus the Psych Up. Jess Timber as well. And now we'll have Angelo Oomph Yangus. Even though this guy spams Disruptive Wave. I'm hoping he'll use it here. No, okay. Oof, very close. Right, next turn then we can have Angelo Four Hill Jess. So that's everyone on 5, and that's everyone on 20. Yangos will put himself at 50 in the first turn. And I'm on 20, aren't I? So yeah, I'll attack here as well. Yangos Typhia Small, just symbol attention. So Yangos could be on 100 at the end of this turn, provided we don't get disrupted, which I think, yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought it was likely. Right, okay, so that's going to be just everyone attacking at 5 then. And at least Jess will get full healed here. And that's just going to be a 5. Yeah, that's not going to do much. But he doesn't have that much health anyway. I think it's like 2,000. It's not much at all. It's just kind of an annoyance at the start of every fight. Right, two minutes attention again. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll be on 20. Yeah, we might as well. Yeah. How is that going to put him on? No, we'll be 20. Timbal, 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 and then... I think... I think we'll oomph again. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. I mean, this guy is just annoying. His use of Disruptive Wave. All right, both Jess and Angelo on 50. Oh, I've not seen him do this one yet. Ouch. Okay. And he's Disrupted again. It's so annoying. It's the most annoying spell, like, in all of Dragon Quest. I don't know what game brought it in. I don't know what madman thought that was a fun thing to bring into the universe, but... Oh, well. <laughs> right. Um, I... Does that have to be an Omni Hill? Uh, I'm going to risk it not being an Omni-Hill. Oh, I'm just going to have Yagus attack. We'll be here all day otherwise. And I'm going to hope that Angelo goes after Jess and he gets the full multi-heal then. Okay, good. Good if it lands. Okay, big problem. Uh, Alright, he's taken out Jess. He might have taken out Yangus as well here. <laughs> if he wins, uh, uh, he has. <laughs> oh, I hate this fight so much. Alright, well, at least that's a full heal, more or less. What tension am I on? Am I on 50? The problem is you don't want to start the dragon fight on low MP. That would be a big problem. Well, Kazing Jess, because she can Kazing as well. Of course he's disrupted. That was a disrupt on 50 as well, wasn't it? For God's sake! <laughs> How long is this fight going to drag on before we do any damage? Yeah, and he's dodge one as well. Stupid boss fight this is. <laughs> right, uh, Timbrel... Uh, Jess the Timbrel as well? Uh, Angela needs four here then, really. Uh, we're going to have to waste the turn, because in Yangus. And then four heal himself. Oh, I hate this fight. Oh, he might die here as well. <laughs> Can't remember what tension he's on. Oh, just about survived. We need an Omni heal, though. <laughs> what a stupid fight this is. Five, five, five. Right, everyone's on five. Oh, I think we probably risk it. Uh... I'm going to have Yangus attack this turn, because might as well. We will be here all day, otherwise. I'm going to hope... Oh, why have you gone first, man? Oh, God. Yeah, they need meteorite braces. Both Angelo and Jess need meteorite braces. Right, first three are on 20, unless we get disrupted. Okay. Finally. <laughs> right, they're on 50, then. Yangus is attacking here. I don't think he's oomphed, is he? No. It's pretty much a one-hit kill if he's oomphed, isn't it? Right, no, use it again. We might as well. Go for the finish this turn. Don't disrupt. Okay, that's alright. If that multi heal lands well, yeah, okay. I think we should have it here and then we should be on full health for the boss. The proper boss. Oh, he's dodged one as well. Such a dick, man. I oh, still haven't got him. Right, I think Jess is attacking it. Just do a nice Kafrizzle to finish it off, hopefully. Eh, uh, fuck it. Yeah, Angelo attack as well. Take him out. Alright, that should get him. As long as he doesn't dodge. Yeah, nice. Okay, right. At least we're starting on full health. Again, okay, no memory of what this dragon's gonna be or what its uniques are. Because I've not looked at a guide in many years. It is... It's the Emerald Dragon. I seem to remember this one having loads of defense. And that spells are the correct way to do it. I mean, I'll send in Talos to investigate that theory, but he's not going to do much on his own. Uh, okay, standard damage for a normal attack. 
Okay. High attack by the looks of it. And he's got a roar, which hopefully that means he... Okay, that roar does damage. He's got a sleeper attack. Okay. What else has he got? Oh, kill Talos, man. For God's sake, get him out. Oh, dear. There we go. Finally. Ooh, 517. Was that a normal attack or was that a crit? Didn't actually see. Right. Um, I think we'll try it all out attack first. So Psych Up, Timbrel, and then we'll use Oomph on Yangus just to get him fully ready. I can't remember if this is the guy with high defense or not. It's not the same defense as the Darksteel Dragon. That's the one I remember specifically. But... Right. Not too bad. Oh dear. Very close. But hopefully Angelo will go first. Oh, Yangus is on 50. The others are on 20. That's got to be Falcon. That's got to be Typhius Moor. That's got to be Timbrel. And that's got to be Fulgur. Just does it for me. Yes, all right, everyone else is on 50, and the 4 hill goes in. Lovely. It's looking good. Okay. Not Yangus. Okay, could have been worse. Oh, 1298. Okay, this isn't the guy with high defense then. Oh, 2,500. We're 4,000 in. I reckon he's close already, to be honest. We'll go for another round of psyching up, though. I reckon we should have this easily now. Uh, Angelo's down, though. I'm... Not gonna wake him up, I don't think. I think he's sufficiently close to not bother waking him up. And if Jess gets a magic burst, then. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, that might have been a mistake. That's, that's a paralyzer, isn't it? Okay, we've all dodged. Fine. Oh, we're gonna get this easy. Uh, not getting Jess to 100, though. Unless her one does it. Oh, I'm, I'm magic bursting next time. <laughs> Alright, um, Yangus is probably gonna die here. I genuinely think he's really close already, though. I'm going to Magic Burst. I don't care. Let's do it. With fingers crossed. Oh, there we go. At least we're landing it. There, two and a half thousand. Beautiful. If Yanga survives and attacks... Okay, no. <laughs> it was a big hit. Right, I think I should finish him off here, though. Angelo's awake, which is good. Okay, not quite dead yet. He's very close, though, already. Um, right, it's got to be... Who's reviving? Alright, we'll have Angelo revive and me. Is that sensible? Because we could get two symbols in, but we won't get. No. It's got to be me doing healing. Just symbol. That works, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. And then Angelo Kazing. Alright, everyone on five. There's the sleeper. Oh, Angelo's gone again. There's the paralyzer. Okay. Paralyzer doesn't seem to land very often. I'm just going to have to Kazing with Jess then. I'll use the Timbrel myself. Kazing with Jess. Oh, she's out of MP. Ah, that's why you don't use Magic Burst too early. Um, oh, I might have to use Tingle then in that case. I think we do, because I think we desperately need Angelo back in the game. To get Yangus back up. He must be so close though. <laughs> okay, not too bad. I'm on 20, Jess is on 20. Jess can't do anything though. Alright, Angelo is back up. Oh, I've got no other healer though, have I? Unless I use Kazing with Jess. No, I can't. Uh, so I've got a heal. It's got to be a non heal. That's got to be a Timbal because she can't do anything else. And that's got to be a Kazing. Alright, everyone's on 50. Oh dear, oh dear, Jess is out. She wasn't Kazing. No, she wasn't, was she? Oh dear. Alright, this Yangus is back up. Oh, and the Omni Hill's in. Okay. So yeah, it's me attacking them, and I, I'm probably going to finish the job then if this lands. Uh, yeah, we'll have Andrew Yangus attack as well, because I think he's very close. I think this is probably it if I get my attack in. I think he's close enough. All good. Go on in. Finish the job right here, right now. Beautiful. There we go. They fell down too easy. <laughs> I think I'm over-leveled at this point, if anything, at level 50. But there we go. The first two dragons are down and everyone gets XP. Everyone's still on their feet. Uh, right, the skill points with Jess. I think it is just going towards that because snooze and that 1 in 8 chance. Oh, Pink Typhoon. I forgot that existed in this game. <laughs> Gotta love it in DQ11, but I forgot it was in DQ8 as well. Well done. Thank you.
You deserve a reward for Oh, thank you. Right, it has to be the Dragovian helm. It cannot that be anything else. Desire. It is, Very yes. Well. So now we have the full Dragovian outfit. You don't need the shield for it to Oh, I don't think you do anyway. For it to display over in the game. And this this is genuinely the first outfit we've had in this game, isn't it? They're sort of so rare in DQ8. You sort of don't get them unless you specifically you go for them. Because there's, I think, one for Yangus in the whole do. game, which is the dog's body outfit, if I remember. Very well. I don't think I've ever tried any with Angelo. There's a few for Jess, but we're not doing those on YouTube. I don't know if Red and Murray get any. Do they get any? I can't remember. I'm going to have to Google it afterwards. So I'm sure that might be something we do in this playthrough, just go for every outfit. But for the sake of this episode and wrapping it up in a lovely little way, we shall transfer that to me and place... Is that the accessory? No, it's not, is it? Shall we equip the Dragovian helm? And yes, we shall. Look at that in the beautiful HD mod pack. Oh, that is such a cool suit of armor. It's, like it's got that kind of Chinese kimono vibe as well. Oh, that's so very cool. And the spikes and the emblem on the back. Yeah, it's beautiful. We shall stick with this outfit for, I think, probably the remainder of the series. And it's a lovely way to end. So thank you very much for watching. In the next episode, we'll do some more dragons. And I'll see you then. Peace.